to Millennial Santa. We are broadcasting from KELF, the North Pole's radio station. I am Sunny the Elf. I'm feeling very Christmassy today. And here is Mr. Christmas. It's Santa Claus. Hi, Sunny. Have you done something with your hair? Don't tell Mrs. Claus, but I kind of crept into Mrs. Claus's kitchen and grabbed some of her green food dye from her pantry and see these green streaks in my hair because, you know, I have red hair. Yeah, I was... And like I said, I, I'm feeling very Christmassy, so I put these green streaks in my hair. Kids, do not do this at home. This is just what one <laughs> crazy elf does. <laughs> and it looks good, though, doesn't it? <laughs> it it's different. I will say it is <laughs> different i cannot do that with mine <laughs> well you know what santa lucas sent us a text message and this is kind of a sensitive topic lucas asks santa whenever i see pictures of you you're always wearing your hat are you bald or do you have some hair still left under your santa hat <laughs> now lucas that's a very personal question but yes there is hair under this hat. You may be wondering why you always see pictures of me with this hat on. The history of this hat goes back all the way to St. Nicholas. And when St. Nicholas was made a bishop, bishops wore a mitre. And this hat symbolizes a mitre, the way it goes all the way up. Now, Mrs. Claus thought the nice little white ball at the end would look cute. So I've been wearing that because I don't want to hurt Mrs. Claus's feelings. Now, other reasons, you know, we'd wear a hat is to keep our heads warm. If I'm traveling in other areas, I will wear different types of hats, especially if I'm down in Australia. Do you know that in Australia and Christmas Day, it can get rather warm? And so a lot of times I change out of my uh, traditional jacket and hat and put on something a little lighter and a little cooler but i still wear something on my head because i don't want the sun's rays to to bake my poor brain and going back years and years ago i mentioned mrs claus designs my hats and, and makes them for me when i started out long long time ago i used to wear holly leaves around my head especially in the warmer weather areas that looked rather nice too Lucas, you may come across many of my helpers. All of them you'll see wear hats. Some of them may not have hair. But the one thing we have in common, we'll always wear the Santa hat as a tribute to St. Nicholas, to honor St. Nicholas, and also not to confuse the children. You know, you don't want children to Santa, how come you're wearing a cowboy hat? You know, you're different from the other Santa over there wearing a bandana. And you'll see the traditional Santa hat that kind of comes up to a point and usually has a fur ball on the top. And that has become a traditional symbol of Santa. So, Lucas, grab yourself a Santa hat and you can practice being Santa. Ho, ho, ho. All right. Thank you, Lucas. It was great to hear from you. And hopefully you do get that Santa hat. You should send us a picture. We'd love to see it. If you guys want to say hi to Santa or if you have a question, you can call or text us here at the radio station, and we'll try to use your comments on our show. The number is 856-99-SANTA. That's 856-997-2682. Kids, be sure to get your parents' permission first. Bye, guys. Bye, Santa. Bye now. And keep that spirit of Christmas in your heart all year long. And have fun wearing those Santa hats. Ho, ho, ho. Millennial Santa is a proud member of Parents on Demand, a network of high-quality podcasts for families just like yours. Download our free network app on Apple and Android and listen to your favorite episodes on the go, just like Santa. Santa.